congratulations, Gary. A very valuable three points, but a somewhat scrappy performance today. And I think Farnborough are saying really they feel they should have got a point. Well, certainly scrappy. We were a little bit flat. We started off, I thought, very sloppy. Um, could have been one nil down in the first minute, and uh, if that wasn't enough, I think we tried to uh, give them a, an opportunity to score three or four minutes later. Where you know we had a situation where Andy Little got caught messing about with a ball, and you know they both looked like they were slipping and sliding in the penalty area. You know, and uh, I could hear you know views from the dugout next to me at that time, but you know I wasn't concerned. I'll be honest in respect of you know I thought it was a penalty, but we were lucky to come away from that first. Uh, Five minutes without conceding a goal, and you know we scored with our first attack really, and um, like a miss it shot from Moses, it's fell to Elvis, and he pulled it back, and Ben Smith's got in the end and puts one nil to the good. And I was hoping it would settle us down, but the game became very stretched very early, and um, say so, um, disappointed today. I was disappointed. I'm pleased, you know, you, when you reflect on it, you can't go in after the end of the game when you've had the run and now what we've done this season as a football team and as a football club uh, and be silly in respect of you know your disappointment on the performance but you know uh, I was disappointed in respect of the performance and you know there certainly looked uh, some players out there today who looked weary or you know as if they'd gone a little bit past uh, their bedtime in respect of uh, we look leggy but you know when you turn around and dig a 1-0 out but you know you see over 3,000 fans turn back out here, here today at Kingfield and that's, that is the biggest probably, with the three points, that's probably the biggest boost um, as a manager and as a football club since uh, me and Steve Thompson have worked together. Uh, I'll take a great deal of art out of that, that you know, even though we haven't played to the full standards what uh, we have played this season at home and some of the football we have played which has been breathtaking but to get over 3,000 fans here today, I know that Farnborough are a local side and not far down the road but I think that uh, it's a great sign. I think it's a big positive for Woking Football Club going forward again after you know uh, a period of time over the last few years that um, some football fans have faded away. But hopefully, uh, them three points today and a big crowd here will bring them back more often. As you say, a fantastic turnout today from the Woking fans. Do you think the big crowd, the fact it was a local derby, do you think that's perhaps why we, we didn't play with our usual fluency today? I don't know really, John. You can look at it several ways, you know. Um, I wasn't here on Christmas Eve morning when they trained. I can look at myself in one or two ways because, uh, you know, best coach around, Steve Thompson, no doubt about that. But I think that uh, I look at myself a little bit and was it a case of uh, I wasn't here with a stick in the background? Because I think some of them need to see the stick sometimes to keep them going. So I look at myself a little bit there and uh, um, look at the situation that we were a little bit flat today. But we've, we've done very well where we are at the moment. We've got some good experienced players. We've got some young promising players. And we've got a great you know, uh, band of fans at this football club. But uh, we'll, be di you know, we'll be different. We'll be different on New Year's Day. I'm sure about that. I think that's, uh, you know... It wasn't a case of uh, being silly, as I say, with the comments after the game, but I think that it was uh, quite collective. We had a little chat there, and I think we know as a team, and we know, when I say that as a team, a management team and also the playing squad, that uh, we've got to go and do a lot better on New Year's Day, and I'm sure we will. And what's the position with Aaron Howe? As I understand it, he tweaked his neck in the warm-up, so that obviously can't have helped matters with Andy Little having to come in very much at the 11th hour. No, it doesn't help, but you know, you've got an experienced goalkeeper Andy Little, he's got to be there ready to, you know, uh, come in and do that job and you know, being fair didn't start off uh, too well, you know, he's put on him fifteen minutes before the game, you know, and I don't think Andy would try and look for any excuses in respect of he should have dealt with the situation where he should have cleared the ball a lot easier and quicker. But he made some very important saves, his handling was good, he hasn't played over the last two and a half, three months, he's a great pro. He's got a lot of support and he gives a great deal of uh, support uh, to Aaron Howe going forward uh, at the football club. So, you know, um, I don't look at anything today I, I, where you can turn around and say, oh, that's happened today, that's happened because this, because that. I, you know, I'm not that sort of person. I think that, you know, a lot of people know me. I've got, you know, I've always said that, I've got my faults, same as anybody. But what I've tried to bring to uh, Woking Football Club with Steve Thompson as a management team is a lot of honesty. And we're disappointed today by our standards, what we accept at the football club in respect to playing. But, you know, very encouraged by the support we had today, and we'll be different New Year's Day, I'm sure. And talking of honesty, I thought Adam Newton had a terrific game today, came in as skipper, and he made a, a, an absolutely fantastic last-ditch tackle in the second half, which was vital. 
He's a great pro, you know, and when I talked to Gary, uh, Gary Brabin originally, when I signed him uh, in the summer, when he came from Luton Town, and uh, Gary said to me at the time, like, you know, that if they would have went up, uh, he would have kept Adam Newton. It wasn't a case of, uh, you know, the budget, it was more a case of their financial situation. But Adam Newton's a good pro, he's, he's tremendous with the young lads, and uh, he's a great model pro, you can see why he's played so many good games, and, he prepares himself properly and his commitment on the field for 90 minutes is absolutely different class. And he's the ideal captain when we've got you know, the situation with Mark Ricketts at the moment. And uh, obviously the return leg comes up on New Year's Day and presumably you'll be looking hopefully for a better performance but more importantly another three points. Yeah, we'll be better New Year's Day, there's no doubt about that. We'll be better, I'm pretty confident of that and uh, be hard. You know, all credit the farmer played very, very well, worked very, very high. You know, for Spencer Day, and you know, I'm not, uh, you know, undermining or disrespectful to anybody in respect to their team, and you know, they certainly give a lot of commitment. But you know, I think that our standards are below par today, and I'm just hoping that uh, we go there on New Year's Day with a great following behind us and uh, go and get the result. Lovely. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas, Gary. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers,